Hi guys! I'm here again to show you another great simple DIY decoration idea for your eggplants. And in this video, we're going to be using empty Nutella bottles or jars. They're empty Nutella jars. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and start. So first thing that we're going to use is your bottle. Oops, a lot. Okay, so don't be stupid. Of course, you need to peel off the shit. And uh, yeah. So now that our bottle is clean, I mean our jar is clean. So we're going to have to prepare our other materials. Okay, so I have here some wood chips. This is actually for the orchids, but yeah, what the heck. Then you also have some stones, small stones. You can either buy this in stores or you could also pick up some, you know, in the road or at your neighbor's garden, wherever. Some more stones, these are smaller ones. These are actually some these are actually leftovers from the other projects. Of course, my favorite, some artificial moss. I don't really use um, organic or real moss because they accumulate too much moisture. So they're good in terrariums for plants that are actually in need of a moist environment but for air plants I am always afraid that they might they might rot because of too much moisture inside a bottle inside of a terrarium because a terrarium is really prone to such moisture so I just use these and then you can also use more fancy stones with colors depends on you pebbles and marbles and stuff like that just to bedazzle the aquarium. If you want, you can also use shells or sand. Some people use sand. So the good thing about using a transparent bottle, like this jar, like this Nutella jar, is that you can actually see the layers that you're gonna make or that you're gonna create later on. It's really cool. You can appreciate the decorations and stuff like that. If you put it in a transparent bottle, you can play around with the layers. And of course, we can't start this without our tilantia. So for this project, I'm going to be using a tilantia ayunanta. Ayunantas are really ideal in making terrariums because they're small. They don't grow any bigger than this. If you have a tilantia neglecta, that will also be great because they're really small and cute. You can put them inside a small bottle for a terrarium like this too. So, but I don't have that yet. So I'm gonna stick to this ayunanta, ayunanta. And the next one that I'm gonna use is this one, tilantia pestocoides. So this one is good too. I don't know how I'm gonna use it yet, but okay, let's see. Because I'm thinking, yeah, thinking of something of decoration that it's already in my mind. So let's see how it goes. So that's it. Let's go ahead and start. Remember what I told you about layers. So the first thing that we're gonna use is, are the rocks. The small rocks. Opla. You can just go ahead and put them here inside the jar. It's up to you and how much you can use. If you want to use sand, you know, colored sand, some people actually use colored sand, you know. But I don't have that yet, so I'm gonna have to improv improvise. Here, it's too much. Okay, so I think that's just. And then we're gonna use our wood chips. Put them all here and scatter them around. Yeah, what I have, I'm gonna use all of them. So, there as you can see, we have our layer now. We have a layer of um, 
small stones and now we have a layer of wood so uh, it looks great already and then oh well, let's see and then we can use the tiny rocks uh, tiny stones or on the top it's like a highlight thing so there then it's time to bedazzle it gonna use this like these white rocks kind of thing so yeah and you can have um, variations you know it's up to you you do it some marbles oh, I like this one look I actually forgot where I bought this but look it's kind of cool so I'm gonna use that instead put it in here and now our moss I don't want to use too much just a little up. So let's see how it looks. No. And now I'm going to put a little guy here. And oh, hey, look what I got. Look what I found. A small elephant. If you have other small figurines, you can put them there too. Just for fun. Last edition. Our first acoitus. So in doing this, you must also take into consideration the the air plant that you're going to be using. If it's going to go bigger as it is at the moment, or if it's going to stay small like so. Because, you know, air plants thrive through air as well, hence the name. And that means that they need a lot of airflow. So... You don't want your your ter terrarium to be clumped up, to be so you don't want your terrarium to be very crowded, because that might kill your air plants. You know they might get suffocated and stuff like that. They might get suffocated. Okay. Sitting. Okay, so this is our finished product. Thing. Okay, so in taking care of air plants inside the terrarium, you can you can actually miss them. Okay, but just be cautious because moisture gets trapped inside the inside terrariums. So too much moisture inside might cause your air plant to rot. So I'm not really a fan of misting. What I do is I usually take them out and then I soak them or dip them in water Then after that I let them dry out before uh, before putting them back again inside the terrarium so yeah you can do that as well I think it's better it's safer because I'm really afraid of my air plants uh, rotting you know so yeah just remember um, be sure that your air plants can still breathe inside the, the bottle because you know they're very they need airflow if there's not enough air airflow your air plants would yeah obviously die okay so that's it oh my god my cat's here again then hi jinxie say hello to jinx hi jinx oh what did you say see <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is going to go into my thumbnail. See, I told you it's very easy. So here we are. See, isn't it beautiful? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and like this video if you do. And tell me what you think in the comments below. Okay, and I'll see you again next time. I see it's good, beautiful moon. Bye. Thank you.